Hello everyone, welcome back to SPT Read Tutorial Series. In this video, we will learn how to model a cracking tower. Okay, first of all, we will see the geometry. This is the cracking tower. In this, we will see the component. Okay, first of all, first component is this square plate. Okay, second component is this cylinder. Third component is this cone. Fourth component is this cylinder again, and one dish is there. Okay, first of all, we will draw this. We will go to software. Click on this plant option. Click on metric unit. Click on OK. This window will appear. In this window, go to this file option. Go to define workspace. In this, drop down the filter. Go to more. And click on the previous filter which we have created. Click on OK. Click OK. Now all the previously created equipment will be shown here. Okay. I am expanding this, expand also this, and expand all, all this. Okay. I will drag this. For creating an equipment, go, go to this task, go to equipment and furnishing. Okay. Open this common views also. And this shapes also open. Okay. Click here, drag it here. Okay. We will change the view. Okay. This is the view. Okay, we will hide this equipment first. Right click, hide, right click, and hide. Okay, now both the equipment are is hidden. Now we will cl click on equipment. Okay, click on this option. Go to equipment. You can go in anywhere. Okay, go to this process. Go to horizontal vessel again. You can create a uh, vertical also, but I am creating with horizontal only. Click on this. Now give the name. Cracking. Tower. I will give in capital. Okay. Click OK. For giving the center point, click on this pinpoint option. Give the east value zero. Enter. North value also zero enter, and elevation also zero enter. Okay, click anywhere on the screen. Now the center position is placed. Okay, now click on this cracking tower. First of all, we will create one flat plate or square plate. Okay, click on this rectangular shape option. Give the name SQP one. SQ. The time given is great. Okay. For the dimension, two dimensions are two dimensions are twenty one hundred and twenty one hundred only. Okay. Because it is in a square plate, so give twenty one hundred and twenty one hundred. And one dimension is the thickness. We will be giving fifty mm. Click on open. For the placement, go to this option. Place zero. Enter. North value also zero enter and elevation also zero enter. Okay, now click anywhere on the screen. Now your plate is fixed. Okay, this is your plate. Now you have to manage the orientation. For that, first of all, click on this with the keyboard. This is the actual orientation of your plate, or you can go like this also. Okay, this cracking tower is in vertical direction. So we will change the properties of the square plate first. Go to properties, click here. Now we have to change the distance. Okay, x is a that is twenty one hundred. That is you have to put fifty mm and change the dimension to twenty one hundred. Okay, click on apply. Now your plate is fixed. Okay, this horizontal square plate is fixed. You can see it in this view also automatically. Now we will create one cylinder. For that, again click on this cracking tower. Click on this cylinder part, cylinder shape. This one will open. Give name C Y one. Okay. A is the height. Height of the cylinder is one four zero seven six. Okay. One four zero seven six. Now B B is the diameter. Diameter is one four one three. One four one three. Click on OK. Now your cylinder is 
here now for the location go to this position again give zero enter zero enter and zero enter again okay click anywhere on the screen now rotate it with the help of keyboard arrow keys now your cylinder is also placed okay now two portions are we have already placed this square plate in this this plate we have placed okay now we have to place one cone the cone one diameter is 1413 only and second diameter is 1067 okay for that first of all click on this cracking tower again go to this cone click on this okay now first of all give the name i'm giving cone one okay a is the length, length of the cone is 280, okay, and B is the bigger diameter, bigger diameter is 1413, and C is the smaller diameter, that is 1067, okay, click on okay, okay, now I will place by moving it, okay, first of all click anywhere on the screen, okay, now your cone is placed, now rotate it with the help of keyboard, and make the position correctly. Now your position is correct. Click on this move option. Okay. Now this position will come. This yellow while moving, then this yellow sign will appear. Click here. This cone will be placed here. Okay. Now your cone is also placed. Now third, port, third part is also again cylinder. This part is cylinder, and the cylinder height is seven eight four nine. Okay, we will create this cylinder again. For that, click on this cracking tower again. Go to the cylinder. Okay. Give name C Y two. What is A? A is the length. Length is seven eight. 49 and B is the diameter. Diameter is 1067. Okay. Click OK. Click anywhere on the screen. Again, rotate with the help of keyboard arrow button. Now, for moving it, click on the move option and again, same. Then this yellow sign will appear. Click here. Okay. Now your upper part is also placed. Now your dish part has to be placed. Okay. For placing the dish, first of all, see the dimension of dish. What is the dimension? This is 200 only. 200 and diameter is 1067. Click on this cracking tower. Click on this hemispheric shape. Give the name dish one. And A, A is the diameter for that 1067 and B is the width or radius that is 206, that is 200 only, 200, okay, click OK. Now for placement of this again, place anywhere on the screen first of all, rotate it with the help of keyboard, arrow button, now click on this move option. Then this sign will come, click here, okay. Now your cylindrical and square part all is created. We will create other parts in other videos, okay. Till then, thank you.